from Orange Walk to Dangriga. Applicants gather in Belize City for the interview of a lifetime. They came to battle it out for one managerial position at the bank. For the next five weeks, the chairman and his team will challenge these seven promising applicants in sales, marketing, creativity, and leadership. Seven candidates, one secured contract. This is The Belize Apprentice. Kamisha Yark. I am 26 years old, currently a webmaster. I'm also an environmental student. I love the environment. I like to be outdoors. I'm very aggressive. I go for what I want, especially if I know I want it and I know that I can get it and it's there for me to get. I will go for it very hard. My name is Tariq Kano. I'm 22 years old. I come from Belopan, capital city. I'm now the 23 national time trial champion of Belize. I'm riding for Team Santinos. I'm coming here to win. And uh, being successful in life is all about how much you could get ahead, how much people you could take from the bottom and take to the top with you. Most people try to hurry up to get to the finish. I try to look at the best way to get to the finish. My name is Darwin Zim. And I come from Barrel Boom. I am 28 years old. I I have a lot of experience, not only in education, but also in life. So my wife is um, expecting a child currently, um, at the moment, so I guess anytime they can call me and I probably have to leave, right? The right person to win this challenge is the person that not only can excel in performance, but also has good values, good morals, good ethics. So I believe I, I am that person. My name is Idran Garba. I'm 23 years old. I come from Dangarga. Uh, I'm a musician, artist, I write, I work, entrepreneur, invest as much as I can. When I do something, I make up my mind that I'm going to do it and I do it as clean, professional and smooth as I can. If I was to describe myself in one word, I would use the word smooth, spelled S-M-O-O-D, because I'm always in a sexy mood. My name is Nelita Jamara Novello. I'm 21 years old, I am from the Orange District. I love to be involved in sports. I like uh, refereeing. When I put myself in something, I'm very serious about my work. I believe I would be the best apprentice because I know that I am determined to go behind my goal and to always work for it. My name is Javier Molina. I'm 33 years old, uh, married, I have two kids. Uh, into photography and videography and I've been working um, in that field for about 14 years. I think I'll have an edge in this because um, I have a lot of experience uh, doing different things, um, both managing certain aspects of production and um, being able to think on the spot, being able to make decisions on the spot. Um, somebody who's a little bit of a risk taker but still calculated risks. I think just my general personality and the drive is going to give me an edge. Hi, well, I'm Andrew Alamina. I am 17 years old, currently studying economics at St. John's Junior College. And I'm here right now because I am going to be the next apprentice. I bring something to the table I think no one else has here, and that is proven leadership. I was president of my student council in high school. I was also president of Interact. And I've shown throughout my many years here that I have what it takes to be a leader in any setting, especially a banking setting. You know, I know that once I put my mind to the task that there's no reason why I shouldn't win this competition. You know, there are a lot of brilliant minds here, a lot of people who I know do also have what it takes. You know, the key is to put myself into that frame of mind where I know I'll be unbeatable in this competition. Good evening, apprentices, and welcome to the Belize Bank. The purpose for this program is for the bank to identify a management trainee who will take the bank to the next level. All of your CVs have been vetted over the past two weeks, and you all have been chosen because of your exceptional character and the quality of your resumes. But in the final analysis, only one of you will prevail. We at the Belize Bank strive for 
excellence, we are seeking to become the preeminent banking group in Central America and the Caribbean, and we only want the best, the very best. You will be put to various tasks, you'll be tested in several areas of expertise, and at the end of that exercise, one candidate will emerge as the winner of the first Belize Apprentice Program. This evening, we will go, going to call you, and we're going to assign tasks to the different teams, and you'll be assisted by a facilitator. That facilitator will be named to you this afternoon as well. Allow me to now introduce the two gentlemen who are standing here with me. To my right is Mr. Filippo Alario. Mr. Alario is an executive director of the Belize Bank, and he's also on the board of the Belize Bank International. And to my left is Mr. Martin Marshalik, who is the head of our corporate banking and retail banking group. Together, the three of us will evaluate your presentations and will determine the final outcome of who goes to the next level. You'll be now placed into two teams. Obviously, there's an odd number, so we'll have two teams comprising of four candidates on the one hand and three candidates on the other hand. The first team will comprise or consist of Andre, Kamisha, and Javier. And our second team will consist of Nelita, Darwin, Adrian, and Tariq. So you may go to your rooms now, and we'll call you shortly. To keep an eye out on the groups as they execute the task, the chairman has appointed a bank advisor to each team. The team of four has been assigned Candice Gomez as their bank advisor. The smaller team of three has been assigned bank advisor Greg Mejia. You have a phone call. Let's get down to business. Our first task. The point of the first task is sales. Each team will be supplied with $1,000. You'll use those funds to purchase or manufacture a product, which you will then sell to the tourists at the Fort Street Tourism Village tomorrow, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Both teams will be provided with a sales boot from which they will operate. There will be one restriction, and that restriction relates to the choice of products. You will not be allowed to sell any jewelry or any alcoholic beverages. The team with the largest net profit wins this challenge. While the focus of this challenge is salesmanship, we hope to be dazzled by your keen and strategic decision making. Good luck to each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the boardroom. Here is your spending money. Spend wisely. <laughs> I'm thinking about what it is we would want to sell. You know, I think that's the most important thing we need to establish right now. The meal, we can focus on the team name and what's not afterwards. But um, I'm thinking about what they have a lot of interior spillage. I thought of sunblock, but they have tons of booths that are selling sunblock. I thought about water. There are tons of booths that are selling water. So we need to think of something that's that's a need, or something that the tourists would would want to buy a lot of, but something that's not, you know. Yeah. Probably saturated in the market of the tourist village there. Or you can just think of something that sells the most out there and then try to get something similar close to it. It's possible, but likely if something sells a lot there, they have a lot of it there already. No alcohol beverages, but maybe you could mix a mix the drink with something. Uh, maybe like a, like a lemon slush, and then you know, spike it with a little bit of red bull. Maybe you could energy drink. Energy, energy. A different energy drink. The clothing good because you could always go out there, like thrift stores and get like reasonable prices, cheaper prices, and then... But I don't think tourists come down here to buy clothes. They come down here to buy something they can find uniquely within Belize. I'm thinking about those wooden ornaments that they sell outside the tourist village around that Fort George area. You know, maybe the wooden sharks, maybe the wooden calabash bowls and things like that, and sell that inside the tourist village itself. So then we'll need to get the, the things that we will use for to make the energy drink, like the... The blender and the stuff, right? get a blender. All right, then um, we need to establish the hierarchy of this team. <laughs> yes. Anybody want to volunteer? <laughs> I don't mind taking a position if it's okay with you two. Good. That's all right. All right. I think I would vote for you as the manager. We agreed that Tariq Kana would be our group um, leader. Now a name. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it comes down to that. Not the easy <laughs> yes. 
Avengers. What are we avenging? <laughs> oh, oh, my, come <laughs> on. It's gotta be like a one word, just one word. Nice. Just straight to the point. Something that's that's related to banking in some way or the other too. Team name. How about Belize Innovators? Belize Busy Innovators. Marketeers? That's so like true musketeers. That's why. Oh. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Three. 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 That's three. That's the three marketeers. <laughs> Let's call it that. The three <laughs> marketeers. <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> no, no, that's done. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and then what about our shop from? Energy drink? Yeah, it's probably a bottom dollar for save you. We managed to come up with a plan and we went about to shop for the different items we needed. We need to find out exactly where we're going to go to purchase these ornaments or, or souvenirs. Yeah. I know a guy that manufactures stuff from his house. Yeah. But most of the time you have to pre order it. Pre order. But he does have some stuff on, right. on Available display. right there. Yeah. So we could go in and just, yeah, just like buy a bulk. Alright, this guy is where? Um, He's Mr. Mr. Lizama. Frank Mr. Lizama. You need a wallet? You need to get your wallet? Okay. First place you need to go to is to Gwen Liz, uh, we're going to meet a guy, Frank Lazama, around there to get our products. A blender, straws, some cups. Some decorations, yeah. Yeah, cups, decorations, and um, lemon. lemon. And sugar. And sugar. Red, white, we, and can, we can rotate it. We can have one person doing the running, going yeah, out and yeah, trying to yeah. pull in customers in. Yeah. One person doing the selling, and then one person handling the cards or the money or whatever. It was yeah, because yeah, I had well, like a one machine. Yeah, we need to, also buy, we need to also buy a cash pan. On the cash in. Okay. Well, great. Yeah. You could use this. Yeah, exactly. You, you don't you need to sure? waste money on because this will be on. Okay. This I will guess. be with me at all times. I don't think it's more secure to have the money now in a pan, but. They could still pan and go because they travel wrong for say, yes. probably they go on a trip. So, oh, this is where we're going today and this and that. And that. So, that will work so, perfect. We could also research the um, stop so they make on their tours, the tours that we know come out and popular, and then put one that we don't need to make on a reach out. Yeah, that no problem. Where are they going? No. We just come back. Online, everything online. online. They, they're they're okay, booked okay, online. Okay, yeah, see, avoid this tourist thing. Right down behind the street, I can't reach us, so. Those are our customers. We should, we should smile <laughs> and wave or something. <laughs> This is the this there's my cross that right and the one on top. And then what you see inside here? Yeah. And these are just see on top here. Alright. Alright. This goes on the base. And this is what this will turn turn on the wrong base and step on it. Like that. This is what we call I give this piece name happiness. Happiness. It's the most loving thing could ever be because a mother playing with a child. Yeah. And this happened too in real life too. I saw the mother playing with a child by a door and I turned it into and I turned it How into much is a piece like that. Huh? This? Yeah. One center five. Really is that one? Yes, yes. I think this is expensive we need to move. Yeah, Try find a check off your so yeah. some cheaper. <laughs> I'm sure about that, but that might work. 
Hello? Okay. Okay, that's great, thanks. Appreciate it. Alright. Okay, we're set, we have our Xbox. So oh yeah? Good. yeah? Okay, let's go. Let's move on. Well, I, gave, I think I gave some valuable and um, valuable input. However, the team leader and one of the other team members, I think they mostly took control of the project. And they were the one that was making most of the decision. Right? They did inform us about it um, every now and then what did has happened. Um, but I think I would have liked if they told us exactly what was happening from the beginning, you know. What we could do is uh, go over to this gift shop because I think it's going to be cheaper for the items and look around and get the items that we're going to give if they buy like 10 from us. It's if we buy 100 on it, you are giving for 2 dollars? Right? You have 100 on it? You have 50 on it? We need it now. What time are you open? It's too late. Too tight. We really need this one today by 5.30. Any way we could get this base Put this put on a base by 530? Yes. Yep. Okay. Alright, that was a really good. Alright, so really good. Um, we if you could we need the prices for for the total of everything. How much were you wanting to get for this? This one here? This, piece here. this is hundred dollars for this. hundred dollars for this. Uh -huh. This small happiness. This is seventy-five. And this? This one here is um, $50. Fifty dollars. So now this one here, let me explain it to you. It's a pelican. Mm -hmm. It's a fish with a loaf of bread on its back. See the fish? Yeah, I see the fish. It's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a Madonna. Can you look at it? Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow. It's a, I call it the conversation piece. Uh, okay. How much will you yeah. We want we want to take some of these you have inside there as well too. If you can take these out for us. I think that's all. Yeah. Had. Yeah. We'll 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 just take them out and give us the the, um, the total price on it. Do you have any item in large quantity? How much are these? Look at the pants. This one are two dollars. Two dollars? How much are they? Yeah. And this? Uh, this one four dollars. You want more? Alright, and how much are these rubbers you have? One dollar I can give you. One dollar each. And how many do you have? How much people want to sell? Okay, if you could give this to one dollar, you could get this. We need to make at least a thousand dollars profit. So only for sale at least 100 people. All these are um, $5 US. All right. $10 Belize. All right, $10 Belize. So Five. you have three. That's eight. 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 So 80. 80 for the knives. OK, 80 for the knives. These yeah. are how much? 15. These are all 15. How many do you have? I have one, ten. two. 10? You gonna give it to us for 100 for all 10? So it's 50. Uh -huh, 50 yeah. But if it's okay if uh, you buy all them, you give us for 40. That's what we're asking. Is that all right? That I know okay? you said a dollar for one, but. All right. Okay, then. That's an art? It's all right. a deal free? Okay, right. got it. I've put all these things and wrap them up for you, but I can come back 5 o'clock and take them. Uh, yeah, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Yeah. come back and take everything. Okay. I'd say I'm the strongest person on our team. I'm not, I'm not trying to, to be you know, self absorbed and conceited, but I think today, if I hadn't gotten the ball rolling from the beginning, initiated the, you know, the, the team activity, I don't know where we would have gotten. And you know, they both helped very much in executing, but I was the leader and I feel I, I acted that role today. I feel I have a slight advantage over the next team. My team has an advantage because I'm on it. Running around town today, um, of course the traffic was hectic. We, it was around three to five, so ran into some traffic. We were uh, in a bit of a time constraint. Uh, Tariq and Adrian, they just like gave this idea and then they said we're gonna go with that. So, so then uh, to me that was not too fair because I had ideas and my other friend Darwin, he also had ideas and now that when, when we went shopping it was all disorganized and since I don't know Belize well, I can't really say let's go here or let's go there and well that is what really happened and I wish it could have been better but I hope that tomorrow which is the day that we have to sell the things that it really gets sold. So we're going to Golden Bay Mr. Alex on the double just left from Mr. Lazama and we knew that we were on a strict time limit from that point on and to get into an accident 
you know, it was, it was, for me, it was the worst case scenario aside from someone dying. I thought it was going to be worse because the mirror breaking, you know, was, was bad enough. But when I heard that loud screeching noise and I turned around and saw this vehicle coming right towards us, all I did was turn around and brace because I really thought we were going to get slammed from behind. So thank God that did not happen. What I'm going to do later is uh, we're going to talk to the branch manager. He gave me a call. He gave us a deal that he's going to give us a Red Bull at cost price. Also, he's going to give us, uh, depending on the purchase, uh, a couple of cases free as well. We had a little bit, uh, little bit of problem with communication. Uh, not too much, it's a small portion, you know, because two people might get a little bit hyper and talk and run, and then two people are trying to catch up. And but For the most part, uh, we worked together as a team. Uh, we agreed as a team. and. We did a little surprise tactic that um, we believe will surprise everybody tomorrow. I see you tourists picking us up, <laughs> doing this, <laughs> putting it back on. Right right Shucks, man. Instead, whatever you purchase, and give you 20% off. All right, so we'll just pick good stuff and that's it. All right, pick the best stuff, grab it and go. You know, interesting about like those ones, it's like a magnet. Magnet? Yeah. I like this. Morning, says, and actually I have some over there, like I love Belize. Yeah. I like I like these though. Okay, I got a tower right here. Right, Even if I found a chair or on a table, somewhere on the tent. Yeah, that can work. So uh, the 131 for this. Favorite time one, I don't know. One five. Yeah, we will be working fast. Let's do it. Okay, guys, you have an hour and ten minutes left. Okay, All right, bro. My team members are very risky. They're outgoing and they're up for a challenge. As we went along, we still continue planning along the way and plans change every time. And we try to adapt to it. I think we did pretty good. Grab the next part. That's it, let's go. I like my leader or group. Um, and, uh, he has proven to be a, a good leader so far. Um, we still have the challenge to go through tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, uh, on uh, Nelita and Darwin's part, um, they're still more of in, uh, in uh, supportive roles, but I believe they'll stand out a bit more tomorrow in sales. So I believe Yeah, B-E-L-I-Z-E-O-T different colors. So then you should use smaller bristle board if it's Yes. Use. We could use two for the same color, just split them in half and just use two different letters. I noticed that I can have a say with Javier and he would change his mind to what I say, but when I speak with Andre, he would try to stand firm to what he believes. And we would probably have a little bicker, but we will come to an agreement eventually. Nothing but a decor. We don't want any of those rumpled things. Of red, red. It's not an Independence Day booth. We're selling antiques, not antiques no. We're selling authentic blues and ornaments. We have to make I don't think I'm threatened at this time, you know. Um, at this time, for the first challenge, we just wanted to make sure that our team worked well together so that we wouldn't be on the chopping block. We wanted to make sure that our team would not lose a member. So whatever it took for us to come together and make sure that happened, that's what we wanted to accomplish. Thanks again, Mr. Vizem. I appreciate You're it very welcome, much. Man. Bring this back Come tomorrow. For the sale. No problem. It's anytime. For the sale that anytime. Week. No, well, I'm glad we could help. <laughs> really appreciate it. Right. Thanks. Okay, guys, you have 30 minutes left. Yes, it's time to wrap things up and get the last things you need. Alright. So we've got in our, our products. We got our big ticket item. We got um we got some of the smaller items we can sell for volumes. And then have stuff to decorate up. Stuff we got stuff to decorate the stall a little bit. Well, I think myself and my teammates, we went right to the task. We were focused from the very beginning. You know, and that's what I liked about our team today, you know. Each of us were focused on what we had to do. Dude, the sales really did drop over the past couple of months, and I think we'll make good profit off it. So, you don't think Red Bull is the way to go? No. no. Yeah, I think it yeah. wasn't since the beginning, guys. You can see the growth, should we sit? I think we need to get a change.
Hello. Good evening, Mr. Santiago. What well, other products do you have? Remember, he had given us some stuff free. Yeah. These yes. right here, right? My friend went to Belize, and all they brought me was this magnet. It's easy, but yeah, Yeah. Since we get them free, then at least. I think this will sell. This will sell, man. No, man, definitely. Definitely right. sell. Can't go wrong with cheap. Nope. Can't go wrong with free. No, but 100%. I mean, when you sell. Yeah. Even you sell cheap, I tell you, I sell. Sell this for L2 US. Mr. So Santiago said for 700 Belize, uh, he could give us a package deal with uh, various products such as Free to Lay, Snickers, Gatorade, and a bunch of different of his products that he's bringing. Uh, I think that's something that's good. Um, he told me the value market of it is going to be 1700 and uh, so that's going to be $700 in profit, which is about maybe 78% spending. For the $700 you told us you could give us uh, Frito Lay, Snickers and get rid of a couple other of your products. Um, so yes, we'll be taking a deal at around set between seven and eight. So okay. the market set, well the product set. We're five in there. Yep. Selling price 20 dollars. So we make ten dollars off of each one. Mm -hmm. Total profit, the formula for this will be equal. What's it? No, about seven, so seventy dollars we're making. All right, the white cross. We can we can sell those for a hundred. Yeah, big one. Happiness. Big one. I just call it happiness. Happiness, yeah. <laughs> happiness. And then we're gonna sell that one for a hundred, not for a hundred US, not hundred and fifty no. US. No. You said two hundred US. Two hundred US. Getting well. You guys ready to make money tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Yes. so ready. All right, well, let's do it. Let's get ready. All right, so we got it. 961.88. That's how much we're set to make. Now we're going to think about it. In spread. profit? In profit. All right, no fighting me like that. No fighting me like that. No, no. We're, we're not going to lose money in this. But All right, so if we're going to make that much money, we got to sell everything we have here. Nothing has to stay. At this price. At, price, yeah. At the price. Of or more. You know, we, we more or less, more or or less more. that price. So we have to have this price sheet tomorrow right? and work our fight. All right, so from this point forward, we need to make our decorations. Yeah. We need to kind of plan our sales pitch, get a good night's rest, yeah. and then get ready for tomorrow. We got a big day ahead money. of us. We have some money to make. Alright? Good? Alright, team, so we're good. Color coordinated and mind coordinated as well. Three marketeers, ready? Marketeers. Let's go. Nice. Alright. We got it all right here. A dollar each, a dollar each. Souvenirs, take home something to your family and friends. I got a minute to sell the stuff, guys. I got one minute. Look at all that money, money, money. Cashing in on the night before, the Belize Busy Innovators get an early start on sales day and take care of some unfinished we, business. We got, got up very early today to go and get the items from the dealers. So this is the 100% Colombian coffee. This is the 50 gram that you guys will be selling. You guys can sell this for um, 4 or 5 dollars because that's the price that it sells on the shelf. And it's hot outside and some people might not want coffee. So what I have to offer you guys is actually some grace coconut water. And oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so we have what we consider the regular and then we have the no sugar. A lot of people are very health conscious. We woke up with this objective that we want to sell whatever we bought to sell. And I think that we did a big risk because we bought so, much, so many things that we didn't even know if we would sell it. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I think we're good. We're good. It all boils down to how we sell it because we have some very high quality goods that we're selling. Yeah. We got some pretty good stuff that portrays Belize a lot, and we know that we have stuff that uh, people would buy because we 
go out and pick stuff that we believe we or we know that we would buy ourselves if we were visiting another country or somewhere else. village we started to set things up and start to get the seals on the wing. I think our team was very fair across the board you know I mean we treat each member with equal respect I don't think anybody felt left out so I think the team really came together and worked well together. How are you all doing today? I'm doing very good. I feel like I'd have to be the one to go out and, and bring people into our booth to sell the items to them. So um, I'll have to be getting out of my comfort zone and walking around in the hot sun, which I hate, but I'll take one for the team. Let's do this one for the team. You're the captain, you're the You want to keep this part or you want to flip for it? Just decide quick. Quick because you're like let's, 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 you know, let's, let's see. That's why. Let's, let's take that. 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 How much, is five bucks? How much is it? Five bucks? How's that? Five bucks? Three bucks? <laughs> How's three? Uh, just a minute. Hey guys. Mike? Man, it's hot. I'm hungry. But uh, you know we want to win, so we're going to push for it. We got, uh, we're motivated and determined, and we're going to have a good day today. I'm really seeing the team spirit. They're really trying to showcase each other's skills and competences in this whole thing. And they totally changed their plan on me yesterday. Uh, last night, I thought they were going to sell energy drinks, and now they're actually selling a variety of products. Good morning, y'all. Morning. Right. Good morning, everyone. We have uh, the right here, some coconut water. We have coconut water. Ariel, Snickers, potato chips. What do you think? Two bucks for one. Okay. We're, uh, we're on a challenge, so we, have, we want to win. Those guys over there. Thank you. Really, people are just, the, the tourists are loving them. Um, they have a personality. Each one of them have a personality. So I'm hoping that the team actually wins. I would love to present to the chairman something positive in this whole approach. I'll be here until three. Three. I feel I have a slight advantage over the next team. My team has an advantage because I'm on it. I'll take some coffee. Come on. Two. Three, <laughs> one, <laughs> one coffee. I got something that's better than water. Hello, hello guys, how you doing? Come on over, don't be shy. It's the best water in the country. It's the best water in the region. Best water in the world. Coconut water, what's that taste like? Coconuts. <laughs> I don't like coconut water. What do you like? I'll get Moscato. it for you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you mean fish? You mean fish? It's a wine. Oh, it's a wine. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're speaking Spanish. <laughs> I don't know if they're speaking Spanish. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. I don't know what they're speaking. We're English over here. Hey, I know you long time. How much do you want? How many are they? How much are they? A dollar, a dollar each? Yeah. yeah. Oh, two. You want five? No, two. What's your friend want? You could not just need two. All right. All right, thanks. Thank you very much. Well, after three hours uh, of, of sales, uh, Kamisha really stepped off the plate and continued to carry, carry the team. Uh, Javier has had his lucky moments. He sold, uh, I believe, one of the Y crosses. Did pretty well with that. Had an opportunity to use a point of sale machine. Uh, Kamisha really is carrying the team at this point. And it'll be interesting to see after we give them an update as to how the other team is doing, who really steps up and continues to carry the team. Authentic Belizean souvenirs right this way. Great souvenirs, guys. Great things to take back home. These are all authentic, handmade Belizean pieces. They're made right here in the country using authentic Belizean woods. We have a, a great assortment of products. They're made by this guy. I wish I could bring him to you. He's so passionate. He's been doing it for about 70 years. He's 83 right now. And, and he puts so much pride and effort into his work. You guys want to take a look before you guys head back on the boat? Yeah, it's a very nice piece to take back. You'll be your first authentic Belizean purchase today. Are you waiting for someone? Yes, we are. I'm waiting to wait for my husband. So. Waiting for her husband. Okay, well, you don't want to wait in the shade better? 
We're okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Thank shade. you anyway. All right, man. Take care. I'll give you two for five. It's actually three bucks for one, but. And a sneakers. All right, uh, six bucks. Yeah, this is your first time in the country? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, these are all mass produced. They're all mass produced. But these, he only had about eight of these in stock when he went to him. Everything is handcrafted. It takes him weeks to produce. I believe you. I know. But if you're looking for something small to take back, I mean, this will make the perfect. It's a letter opener. Yeah. You know, some people call it a knife, but you can't take a knife onto the boat. You can take no. a letter opener on the boat. Uh, Beautiful piece. How much? This is eight. Eight US. It's very nice. But I've already shopped. Oh. And I'm one more one more item to no. take home. Your first authentic Belizean <laughs> product you're going home with. Your first. Alright, three dollars. We'll be here till three, so if you change your mind, maybe you wanna take it back on the ship. You have none? You'll like it, I guarantee it. They're all handmade, it takes them weeks I gotta get at a out time. The sun. I'm looking for my sister. No profit Can we come back? Sure. If you don't actually buy it, that's fine, but just to you know, it'll make it good for conversation. All right, thank, thank you. Good morning, good morning. morning. Most of the stuff is still here. Almost had it. Andre stepped up a bit in the sales. He's a good presenter, but he's not executing. There was one, one group that seemed to be a high rolling group that walked through diamonds, bought something in diamonds. And, and Andre did approach, but from afar. And I believe that if he had actually went up to them rather than call them over, he would have uh, maybe gotten a seal there. Oh, it's going to be hell. <laughs> Darwin, you know, put down guitar and you out for like, just stay out here, help me out a little bit. There. So, what's so bad? I mean, what you guys want? If my team loses, I think that the weakest would be Darwin. I feel or like I observed that his mind wasn't here. Well, the day was pretty long for me. I think every day now is getting very long. <laughs> he didn't contribute much to today's work. I gave, I think I gave some valuable and um, valuable input. However, I think they mostly took control of the project. Souvenirs, take home something to your family and friends. Kamisha, she was a great salesman. You know, she. She was great at, at, I think, choosing people to sell to, you know, profiling the, the buyers and going to the people who have the money to spend. It seemed they went against me as men. It was kind of sexist in a way. Uh, they went against me as, as men and they did their own uh, purchase. I made sales easy. I think I brought in the most sales for my, for my team. Those ones are the friend magnets. All I brought back for you was a magnet. Wait, how much you want to I'll give you for five US. That's the best five price. dollars? Five US. <laughs> I can drop it four US for you. I'll give you four dollars. Right, thank you. It's going to be a big help for my team. You boost our profit. Thank you very much. Okay, for good luck. I thank hope you, you win. win. These are our keychains. Keychains. And the shot glasses, they're five US, but I can give you for three US. Thank you very much. Good luck. Enjoy the day. Thank you. You can't, you can't work a salesman now. You can't work a salesman. I'm a natural salesman. I can sell that to you. <laughs> I'll sell it back to you. Huh? I'll sell it back to you. Five dollars for one magnet. Anywhere else? Oh, my for four. But that's too expensive there. <laughs> four US. Huh? Four US. Four we're, do, we're doing a challenge and the, the, the team that brings in the most profit wins. Such powerful selling. How could I not buy it? There you go. <laughs> she is a natural salesperson, so she's a lay down. Now, salespeople are laying down, so the salespeople, you know. Wish me luck. And if you have to blow, you blow it up for 100 if you have to. <laughs> Javier, he had the effort as well going out and, and finding people to buy certain things. You really have to push hard to make the sales, but we'll work hard at it. We'll make sure we get it done. This piece is going for $150. It's Cerakote, Belizean wood, and it's handmade. And it's the only one that's out here. I promise you, you will not find this in any other store. It's autographed. I mean, this thing is going to be in your family for years. But I don't have many years left. What? <laughs> no, I doubt that. But thank you, sir. It's beautiful gorgeous. Piece. Beautiful piece. No, thank you. For sure. I'm Can we work it. something out? No, thank you. Thank you very much. It is beautiful. Thank you. Ten dollars a piece. Authentic Belizean made. And what are the prices? Fifteen dollars. We will try to send it for ten, ten US and pull out and sell. But only today we are there. Only today. Okay, I would be interested, but 
wholesale prices, better prices. And so what are the best price? All right, well, I mean... I think I would be interested in these. This then kind of thing? Okay. All right, I'll go back again and check exactly how much only I want to have with the map. And um, then i come back and talk to you. So I'll check only, only the map, right? Okay, no problem. Yeah. One, two, three. Six of them? Yeah. So there's six of them from... No, we're getting to 100, 100, 100 at least. Oh my goodness. I have a How much you have? Seven. Seven. Seventy dollars. Ten a piece. I, I can't. I wish I could. That price I can't. So that price I lose. Fifteen dollars a lot of money, but I'm willing to pay ten dollars each. We already have it today. You know, that's it. That's it. You see what will happen? But then if I buy more. this, I have to be able to make some money off it. Right. right. And then if I sell them, we want more than four. Yeah. Eighty dollars, forty US. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> All right, make a deal, man. Make a deal. Make a deal. So you get some. You get some points. Do y'all believe in God? Step right this way. Twelve dollars to the dolphin. Six to the letter winner, guys. You guys can get your dollar ready when you come back. The turtle, the Madonna. Beautiful piece, guys. Made from pure mahogany. Don't forget your bag. Give me two last right now. Give me two last. Doritos, Oreos, one dollar. Authentic leaves and souvenirs. Twenty US. Twenty US. Last ten beliefs. So two ninety six. I tried getting people to come to the booth, but it was kind of hard. So we kind of did a tag team where some people came in, took charge of the booth while somebody else went out. So we worked it like that. I did try my best. I did try to move some of the bigger items, but um, there were two items that we failed to move, which were our bigger items. So we could have done a lot better. I did my job in keeping my team composed and together, and that's what a leader does, you know. Things will never go according to plan, but it's how you work as a leader and keeping your team composed and on a task that defines how good of a leader you are. Andrew as a team leader, he was, to me, he was more speaking and trying to create a relationship with like the customers opposing to selling and the, the items. But uh, the people have different ways in uh, sales and stuff, but I found that tactic to be very slow and being that the amount of, that we had a time limit, that he should at least realize that, okay, after the first hour or two, it's not working, change my tactic. Today didn't go exactly as we had hoped. You know, we set a target for the amount of money we wanted to make and we didn't meet that target. So it was, it was a little disappointing for us, but you know, we did the best we could. As far as I'm concerned, I, I aced that first challenge. You know, that's totally up my alley. I'm a top, I'm a top dog when it comes to sales. My group, um, they were strong in supporting me, but I felt they needed to step up a little bit when it comes to sales, you know. I feel that Tariq was a good leader because, well, he did a good job to me. Tariq is a good leader, but he's practicing a bit of absenteeism. I'm not sure why. I had fun overall, you know, I think we won. I believe I'm safe. This evening we are going to evaluate your performance and pose some very direct and strategic questions. This evening one of you will be going home. Good evening, apprentices. Good evening. Over the past two days, you all were assigned a spe very specific task. This evening, we are going to evaluate your performance and pose some very direct and strategic questions. This evening, one of you will be going home. So we, you all were divided into teams of two. Um, could you begin by indicating how you came up with your team names? I would start with you, Terry. We came up with our team names um, using a little bit, putting brainstorming ideas from each individual from the group. And uh, we, 
we place it all together to form what we think was a unique and effective name for the, for the team. And what was that name? The, the name of the team was uh, Biz, Busy, Busy. Yeah. Billy is busy, not innovators. Yeah, sorry. Billy is busy, innovators. Okay, and, and there was consensus that that was an appropriate name? Okay. And you, Andre? Well, we actually decided that we were going to choose our team name last out of the objectives that we were given because we felt that that would probably be one of the least important things we had to do. Okay. But uh, when we began brainstorming, we decided that we wanted a name that would capture the fact that there was only three of us in our group and also had some component of banking within that name. So we came up with the three marketeers. True marketeers. Three marketeers. Like the true marketeers. Yes, yes. Very interesting, you know. Each yeah. team has identified a leader. Yes. Um, talk about the leader selection process and what led to the ultimate selection of the leader. Okay, we left it open to the three of us to decide who the leader would be. Mm -hmm. And um, I took up the mantle of leader for our team. Mm -hmm. uh, the team was a consensus of that decision and we followed through with it as best as we could. Kamisha, hey, you, you, you agree with that? Yes, he nominated himself and <laughs> okay. You can take this one. Okay. All right. And in the case of um... okay, well, at uh, first I just suggested that someone, if they wanted to volunteer, since it was four of us, I asked if anybody was interested in leading this and uh, particular competition. And if there was none, then we should probably vote for one. And so what we came about, we, we vote for one, Ms. Tariq, and he agreed. So we moved on from there. And are, are you happy with the, the decision you made after today's performance? I would say yes, I am happy. You're happy? I think in the future. Okay. Candice, you... You guys had some little um, storming in the van when we were doing the planning phase of things, but I think at the night I was told that you really brought your team together and as team leader Tariq and you identified all the strengths and weaknesses of your team members and how you guys can pull together and so at the execution phase today um, I really saw you step it up and all of you delivered and no one of your team members was a bit distracted it's something personal happening in his life but as a team leader you gave him some time off to go deal with that matter he came back and he was motivated to sell um, I saw customer service finance, marketing, all types of personalities and competencies coming out today. Okay, well, why don't you tell us how you felt the day went? While we were out, outside, um, we changed a lot of stuff actually. Um, you know, like we got ideas that like, jumped in our heads and we made decisions and we acted on it and um, it turned out pretty good for us in the end. That's why I think um, I sort of to Adrian let him talk a little bit, you know. Our initial idea was to sell um, energy drinks, but um, with the demographic that we were given, you know, American people, we realized that um, the sales in those drinks are um, rapidly declining over the past couple of years. So we quickly um, shift over to more a wide variety of products, you know, um, uh, snacks, chips, biscuits, and uh, more um, more healthier drinks, you know, um, Gatorade and some. Um, some coconut water, you know, some local stuff so that was easier to sell because it's um, homeland mm -hmm. type of stuff. Talk a bit more about the coconut water because it seems that the coconut water, you know, is featured prominently in the um, in the sales initiative. When when was the coconut water actually acquired? I decided to take it upon myself and try to get in contact with the CEO of Grace. And from there, that's when the night in the night we took that we we talked to him and he said, "Come in in the morning to get this stuff." But Candice, I got the impression from the um, brief that there was a sort of time limitation in terms of when acquisition. 5.30 was the time they had to purchase. So there was a cut off time at 5.30? 5.30. So the, 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 the coconut water was actually purchased outside of the... Outside of the allotted of time. Outside of the allotted time. Well, I mean, Chairman, I mean, I, I don't know what you think about that, but... If it is that there are rules in terms of at what time certain things have to be purchased and we put rules uh, in, in, the, in the competition, I think that the selling of coconut water should not, should not be included. 
But for me, the, the more important question is this. Did you all knowingly purchase the coconut water after the deadline? Was it a deliberate decision, in other words? We, we on our part, actually, I'm mm. going to take responsibility. I thought mm. that the purchase was like, okay, 5.30, you guys have to come back, you can't go anywhere else. You can't ask them to take you anywhere else, mm -hmm. but we had the phone. But well, we had asked earlier if we could have done some um, telesales, you know, um, purchase over the phone, and right. so we did that. That's what I we asked earlier, and the <coughs> answer was... So maybe uh, on our part, we should have asked better in terms of, we thought it was okay, yeah. but maybe yeah. the telesales was still supposed to be in terms of the 5.30, mm -hmm. but we thought it was okay to... Well, I thought it was okay, because okay. I was the one who made the call. Okay. okay. It's up to you guys. I don't know if you have any no, I guess I agree with Mr. Lario that perhaps the sales should be taken out of the... The coconut water sales should be taken out of the gross. I mean, Anita is the only lady on the, yeah. on the team. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So. Yes, before we start the project, it was something that... Um, well, whenever we were in the part of giving the idea of what product we were supposed to bring to the to the tourism village, I didn't really like the idea, and I gave them other ideas. But then they said that, that well, they had confidence in their ideas, so I went with it. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You know, no good job. You know, so Andre, I guess it's your turn. Okay. Well, um, the impetus behind our product selection was we wanted to introduce a product that was unique to the market but wasn't outside the barriers of consumer demand. You know, there are a lot of souvenirs being sold within a tourist village, but there are very few authentic Belize and pieces being sold there. So we got together and we decided if we can get our hand on some authentic Belize and pieces of woodwork and artwork and bring them to the tourist village, could we sell it? And we decided yes, because it will be unique to the market and a souvenir they would want to buy, you know. They don't want things that are mass produced in China, they want authentic pieces to take back home. Because that's what souvenirs are, you want something from the place that you visited. So uh, fortunately, uh, Javier had a contact that he contacted through the use of our cell phone to acquire the, the pieces from him wholesale uh, before the deadline. And we were able to get our hands on all of those before then. And we also thought to ourselves, we have big ticket items that we're getting from this supplier. If you could also get some goods that we can sell for volumes, you know, goods that have slimmer profit margins, but would sell a lot faster. And we're able to get those also wholesale from a provider here in the city. And the other stores that I suggested. Sorry? The other stores that I suggested. Mm -hmm. what, was was <clears throat> that decision made between the three of you, or yeah. was there any other uh, you know, products that you had in mind? Mm -hmm. Or it was because we're going with souvenirs. Well, we were, we were brainstorming. We thought about drinks also. We thought about things. We didn't want anything that was already being sold there. Mm -hmm. You know, we wanted something that would be unique to the market, like I mentioned. And we thought those authentic reason pieces would be unique to the market, and they were. We didn't see any of them out there. And we were pulling items that we didn't really, like, that we would believe wouldn't be much of it out there at the tourism village already, so that we could have an advantage over the yeah. other stores out there. Yeah. We're speaking about, a, we have wooden dolphins, we had pen holders all made from uh, wood that's grown right here in the country. We had a, we had a lot of religious pieces. We had crosses, we had um, a pelican. There are a lot of one-of-a-kind pieces that the man didn't that, that, that's, that's very interesting because, I mean, you're saying that you're looking for unique pieces, right? I mean, where I live uh, close to the Radisson, I mean, every morning when I walk, I see a number of craftsmen with wooden dolphins yes. and fishes. And I ask myself every time, you know, I mean, these guys are not selling anything. You know, and these tourists are passing there all the time. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that you, you, you went with something like that in light of, you know, my own personal experience, you know, yeah, I, seeing these guys mass produce, you know, this type of stuff. And you often see them outside the village, but they don't often get to go inside the village itself to sell their, to yeah. sell their items. Yeah. They, they don't have them there. Most of the items have to be duty free. And the ones that I did saw that were outside, they were mostly like sea creatures, fishes, <coughs> dolphins, and what we had were mostly like crosses and maps of the Belize that were pen holders. But we spoke, we are based on a bit about how much money we wanted to make. <laughs> and then we priced our products accordingly based upon the margin that we were trying to hit. Uh, we were trying to, I think it was 75% of an increase of the money that we started with, and we priced our products accordingly. 
So you had $1,000 and you're trying, we're trying to, to make it $1,750. Yeah. It would, the effort, I, I can't find the effort. We, we all worked very hard to sell all the products, all three of us. You know, Kamisha, she was up peddling some of the smaller items that we had bought for volumes. Javier and I were going out trying to sell some of the bigger pieces to the tourists that were passing by. Who do you think was a better salesperson from the other two? Andrew. Andrew. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, Kamisha sold a lot more items, items that were small needed to sell. But Javier. You have to, you have to just one. <laughs> who was a better salesman? Yeah. I would say Javier was a better salesman. Mm -hmm. Salesman. Kamisha brought in more sales, but Javier was a better salesman. Okay. Congrats. Uh, Ask Kamisha. Kamisha. <laughs> Myself. You think it's that? No. That's not an answer. From the other two. From the other two. Mm -hmm. I would probably say um, Andre. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Javier? <laughs> Again, it depends on if you're doing volume or if you're doing uh, amount. But um, yeah, uh, she actually sold a lot of the little pieces, so I have to say, Kamisha, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of conflict. I mean, I, I, I sort of, I'm looking at the body language and I'm sort of sensing a little, <laughs> you know, tension. We all work very well together, I must say. Yes. No qualms about that. If, if it's noticeable now, I apologize, but we all work very well. <laughs> And we, we, we rotate it. Yeah, sometimes we when we realized that somebody was out there trying to make sales and you know it was hot yeah. and it wasn't working, then we said, all right, my turn. I'll go out, I'll try to make the sales and you stay in and man the desk. So we tried to do that as much as possible. And so we each took the initiative along the way. Now that you've come to the end of the, the, the first task, I mean, and you have the result of it, what do you think you would have done differently? Well, I would, have, I would have gone for the more volume pieces because to me, those sell a lot faster inside the market there than the bigger pieces. You know, than the bigger pieces. That's what I would so have done. So, why the reaction? I was the one that said we, um, when we went to the stores, they mostly went towards the woodwork. And when we were there at the woodwork purchasing the stuff, they were just, um, oh, this is good, this would sell. I like this piece, this would sell. But when the, the um, seller went out, I turned back to them and be like, this is too big. We should focus on smaller stuff that tourists would like want to just push in their bags and on the boat. They wouldn't want anything big and that's like so expensive. But if we had gotten more of the smaller objects, we would have sold more of it because when I was out selling, I, I grabbed a handful of everything. I took two of everything. I went and I sold majority of it. So it was all the um, smaller pieces like the shot glass, the openers, the keychains. That was what they were going for. Andre, you, you agree with that? Or you? <laughs> I um, don't want to create a contention again. But um, Kamisha didn't create the idea. When we were talking inside the room, I said, we can't just have big ticket items. We need volume items as well. Uh, you can recall I, I mentioned that. And she suggested the place to purchase them. But it wasn't her idea. It wasn't her initiative. But I will admit she did, she did uh, suggest that we, that we purchase more of them. Greg, you want to sort of add your? I was, I was kind of surprised that Andre chose uh, Javier as a better salesperson than, than Kamisha. I mean, Kamisha really took the initiative and then stepped out there, taking the, the, the units and then uh, meeting people and being aggressive and, and then pushing the sale of the units. Um, Javier and Andre initially stood in their, during the execution period, stood in their comfort <coughs> zone right under the tent, right under the, the, the tent, then next to the table. It took a while for them to get to the comfort level to go out and meet, meet people and, and try to garner a sale. Um, Javier did go out, he did uh, sell one of the high uh, ticket items, I think for 50 US, used the mobile point to sale. So he had some success there. Um, Kamisha stuck with the small, small ticket items and every time she'd go out, she'd go out with a handful but come back with a handful of cash as well. <laughs> so so she, she really shined out there. Um, Andre really did well in being polite but at the same time being over polite and, and, and not fighting or, or being aggressive in sales. He shaking hands saying hello, how are you, which is great. but the job was getting sales, and, and I don't think that he, he pushed the sales effort. I think it's a 
appropriate at this point in time to discuss the um, the results. So probably we'd ask Greg first, you know, to um, share the results with us. Purchases eight hundred and eighty four dollars. Mm -hmm. Sales today six hundred ninety two dollars, which re resulted in a loss of one hundred ninety two dollars. And and Candice, your your team. Um, purchases yesterday was $832.24. Sales for today was $1,105.55. However, we will deduct the coconut water sale, um, which came up to $152. So really, you netted a profit of $121.31. The busy, Belize busy innovators, after the, the deduction of the coconut proceeds, still made a profit. We want to congratulate the um, Billy's Busy team this evening for an excellent job. But at the same time, we would like to chide you for the breach in the protocol. Because at the end of the day, you know, winning at all costs is called losing. You, know, you don't win at all costs. You know, there are rules of engagement and rules are meant to be followed. And certainly, if one of you were to land a job at the Billy's Bank, I would not want you to compromise the integrity of the organization by compromising the rules simply to gain you know, a client or get ahead. We'd like to also take the opportunity to um, offer you what we consider to be an appropriate prize for your effort, which would be dinner for four at the Radisson Fort George Hotel this evening. Congratulations on a job well done. We would like to have Darwin go home tonight and spend time with his newborn baby boy, right? Congratulations. Congratulations on that. Is this your first? Yeah, it's my first channel. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. Congratulations. So at this point in time, we advise the winning team to leave. Andrew, would you like some time? to go with your team to discuss, you know, what you all did today before we engage you all in the discussion. Sure. Sure. Right. Right. Here's some clinking. Clink. We have decided as a team, and I think it's unanimous here, when you come back in, one of you will go home. We are going to be asking some very difficult and even thought-provoking questions. Simple questions. Andrew, I sat with you as a team leader. Why do you think you should continue on Billy's Apprentice? Because of my initiative. You know, I'm always the first one to take initiative to do things, you know. They said that I stayed within the tent uh, at first, but I was the first one to go out and, and make the sales. And uh, when the sales weren't coming in as I would have hoped, I said, okay, let's rotate. You know, it's initiative with me as a leader. I, I, I've been a leader in a position before, so I know that it's the initiative that gets the team going. Someone to initiate progress within the team. That's the thing I should say. And if the decision was yours, who would you eliminate? I would eliminate. And my friend to the right, Javier. Javier, you're on the spot. <laughs> you are on the spot. You know, why shouldn't you be eliminated? Well, because I, I pulled my weight. You know, we, uh, we had a goal. We accomplished it as much as possible. And uh, I, I guess I'd have to say it, um, it didn't work out. We tried some big ticket items. It didn't go for us. We made some mistakes, definitely. I'll admit we made some mistakes. And, you know, I, I have a lot to offer. You know, unfortunately, uh, this first, uh, I was not able to bring it out with this first uh, task that was given to us. But I do have a lot to offer, and um, I think I need the chance to be able to 
bring that forward and to bring that out. And who would you eliminate, Javier? I, I would definitely have to say... Um, yeah, the team leader. I mean, it falls on him. If the team fails, then he fails. So it falls on him. So I would eliminate him. Kamisha, why should you continue with the program? Oh, well, I should continue because I'm a go-getter. And as from the challenge you can see today, I was a go-getter. I push to get what I want. I know what I want. I go for it and I make sure that I get it. And what do you want? I want to win this apprentice. So I'm going for it. And um, if you had to determine who goes home this evening, who would you send home? I would send home I would say uh, Andre, because it, being as a team leader, you have to listen to everyone in the group. If someone is telling you that don't get something because they from experience know that it wouldn't sell or it wouldn't work good, then you shouldn't just listen to one person. You should listen to everyone and compromise and be like, okay, let's do it, let's try it this way. Gentlemen, we have a decision to make. Um, I know we've asked you all to leave before, but we'd ask you to do so again, and when you come back in, one of you will go home. You know, they broke the rules. We had perfect awareness of what the rules were, and we, we had the option to get our products the next day, and we didn't do that. They also left before we were supposed to leave. You know, they breached the rules twice, actually. You know, which you could have gotten a chance to say that there, but... It is what it is, you know, we did the best that we could. Apprentices, we have made our decision. Um, first to you, Kamisha. I think you demonstrated a lot of initiative and tenacity. I think in taking the lead in the sales effort, you certainly um, avoided what could have been a major disaster on the part of your team. The fact that you initially thought you were going to be an accountant and then decided to go into sales, I think that is commendable. Um, on the downside, I, I think you need to be a little more sober in terms of the way in which you express yourself. You need to uh, demonstrate a little more poise. Uh, because you're going to find yourself in tough situations often and you don't want to be expressing yourself in a manner which gives away you know, how you truly feel all the time. It's good sometimes, but at other times, you know, it could lead to your demise. Javier, you also provided a lot of support in terms of the way in which you supported Andre. You, I, mean, I, I get the impression that the idea to go, to, to go with the um, the tokens and the um, was maybe your idea, Andre. I what can I say? Um, I get the distinct impression that you know you are sort of take command kind of person, and you were a bit dismissive initially of some of the ideas that were brought to the table, certainly by Kamisha. As a leader, you ultimately has to take responsibility for the performance of the team. And while the team did not do well today, I believe that you do have some leadership skills and the potential to go beyond if you are properly mentored and groomed. So while it has been a difficult decision for us today, and I think it's almost a, a tie in terms of who would be eliminated, we have decided as a team, and I think it's unanimous here. That the person who will be with is Javier. Simply. So Javier, I want to thank you for the time, and wish you the best in the future endeavors. But yeah. unfortunately, you will not be continuing the program. No problem. I'm enjoying my time here. And Thank you for the opportunity to actually be a part of it. So I enjoyed it and good luck. I hope you find it. Thank Suitable you very person much. You're looking for. I appreciate Thank you. it. All right. Okay. Good luck, guys. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.
Alright. Give me a better feeling. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You all need to settle working together. Okay? Good? Thank you very much. Thank you. Good. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Lord. I think um, the board made a decision, you know. Um, I guess if they made that decision, then obviously there's something that I didn't do um, that would have changed their minds. So, you know, I'll live with that. You know, uh, our team lost, but our team lost with integrity. We kept within the bounds of the rules, and uh, we made some mistakes, of course, but um, we lost with integrity. So I can walk away with my head high knowing that we did that. It was nerve-wracking for me, because at so many points during that boardroom session, I felt I was going to be the one going home. And what bothered me was that most of what they were saying against me were all things that were fabricated. And I didn't want to make any contention in the board between me and my teammates, you know. I tried to be professional in front of the chairman, so I didn't let that happen. But at the same time, it was burning me inside that, you know, Kamisha can go and say things like, I was always bad at 10. I was never bad at 10. To the group leader, why he was, why he wanted to get rid of me. And it was like, he didn't know what to say. And I found that very funny. Because it was true, like, why get rid of a strong player? And in my head, I was just laughing, like, okay, you want to eliminate the strong and just hold on to the weak for later on. But it backfired. As the CEO, there was, if this challenge was about sales, and that's what I did. So I'm still here. <laughs> in your face, Andre. <laughs> well, I mean, good luck, guys. I really wish that one of the two who are the initial, my team, one of the three marketeers makes it to the top, you know, and that would be happy, you know. I know they're going to work hard. I know that this was hard for them. Um, they learned. I know that they felt it. So I know that they're going to work hard next time not to be in this position. So I just wish them the best of luck and in whatever they do. Well, you know, now if you're in a second, I'm first. We know. Yeah. But you guys got here first. Right. No, we all of you. Help a guy head start. I'll take some coffee. How about two, three, <laughs> one, <laughs> one coffee. I got something that's better than water. Hello, hello, guys. How are you doing? Come on over. Don't be shy. It's the best water in the country. It's the best water in the region. Best water in the world. Coconut water. What's that taste like? Coconuts. <laughs> oh, I don't like coconut water. What do you like? I'll get Moscato. it for you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wine. Oh, it's a wine. Well, I don't know if you're speaking Spanish. I don't know if you're speaking Spanish. Okay, I got you. I got you. I don't know what you're speaking. It's such powerful selling. How could I not buy it? Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> is it? That's your first time in the country. Oh, you're looking for a picture. I'm sorry. Darwin, you know, so Darwin, you tell you out for like. Just stay out here, help them out a little bit. There. So, what's so bad? I mean, what you guys want? Good morning, good morning. Most of the stuff is still here. I got a minute to sell the stuff, guys. I got one minute. Who's buying? Best offer. One minute to sell it, guys. Almost had it.